We love social media. We all use it if in our everyday lives. But what are the benefits of cutting back on your social media use? Angela Hope says in five ways to cut back on social media, make a list of things you enjoy. This is just one way of getting your mind off social media. During my speech, my ultimate goal is to persuade you on all, is to persuade you all on why you should cut back on social media or cut out social media platforms completely. I will provide you with the negative effects, ways to cut back on your use, and other things you can do to prove my point in hopes of altering your social media use. In my informed speech, I told you about the three main negative effects of social media. They are depression and anxiety, body image issues and insecurity, and then academic functioning. These are just a few, these are just a few of the effects social media has on our everyday lives. Social media brings so much more of that, and most of the time, we aren't even aware of it. Like how Nessie states in her article, receiving few to likes. Teens are basing themselves of how many likes they get on a post. They're, the more time you spend on social media, the more vulnerable you become to these effects. One example of this is today's youth involvement in social media. Smartphones have disrupted our childhood, states Jonathan had it in the article, how smartphones are hurting our kids. We are, we're lucky enough to have the beginning of our childhood without technology. We could actually use our imagination and go outside and play. We entertained ourselves. I'm sure we've all played house or restaurant at some point in our childhood. And, but now kids these days, as young as eight years old, are spending hours on technology instead of going outside and being just a kid. They don't understand what it's like to make up games and ways to entertain yourselves. They get all their entertainment from the screen. Since these kids are spending so much time on social media, it's taking away time from their education and their sleep. Moshi Verity states that admitting we have a problem is a necessary first step to fixing the problem. It's distracting you from getting your homework done. It's Staying up late at night and spending all your free time on social media has become a problem. It's distracting you from getting your homework done, getting the sleep you need at night, and spending quality time with your family and your friends. Spending that time on social media also drains you of a lot of energy. Sitting around scrolling makes you tired and less motivated to do those important things, which leads me to my next point. Cutting back on your social media use is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Or even better yet, just get rid of social media altogether. Social media is like an addiction. It's, it gives you peace of mind and happiness while you're using it, but those effects later on can take a toll on you. There are multiple ways and resources to help you cut back on your social media use if you're struggling to as well. In the article, five ways to scroll back on, scale back on social media, list five steps of using social media. I'm going to tell you just about the first one. The first one talks about making a mission statement. The example the article gives is do not use social media as a replacement for in real life. By this, they mean use social media for other things that are necessary, but don't replace it for those in real life conversations that you need to have with other people. Connecting with other people in person is way more beneficial for you than talking through someone with a screen. Get off your phone and apps and go outside with some friends. Talk face to face, not through a screen. Another article explains that using other coping mechanisms could help you get off of your social media. These coping strategies include activity, social relations, and humor to distract yourself from being on a screen. The results, uh, the results show that increased use of three, the three coping strategies was associated with significantly, with statistically significant decreases in levels of stress and loneliness. Using these strategies, contestants were able to get off of social media and bring down stress and loneliness levels and get back that human connection that they lost. Getting off of social media is great, but it's a hard thing to do, especially if it has become built into your everyday life. There are plenty of other things you could do besides scrolling TikTok or Instagram or watching videos on YouTube. 
yes, scrolling is an easy way to just relax and just get some, like, not rest, but just relax and take your mind off of things, just a stress-free, worry-free way to pass the time by. But it's not good for you to be doing. There are much better things you could be doing to relax or pass the time by. It's also so much better for you. The article, The Effects of Negative Social Media Connect Connections by Subjective Well-Being of an Aging Population, a Stress Strainer Outcome Perspective, states that the findings also revealed that respondents overall affect balance leans towards positive feelings as a coincidence of passive social media use. In my audience analysis, I asked you guys what you like to do besides scrolling your socials. The top answer that everybody checked off was spending time with friends and family. Spending time with friends and family is one of the number one ways that healing for healing or being happy. If you're stressed or going through something or like grieving a loss, it's been proven that social or spending time with friends and family and just getting that in-person connection from loved ones and people you love is way better for your motivation, your mental health, and your positive self-esteem than scrolling on TikTok or social media or talking with someone through a screen ever could. Having a connection or spending time with friends and family or people you love is better for you both physically and mentally. Another thing you could be doing instead of social media is finding new hobbies or restarting old ones. The second most checked answer in my audience analysis was 69.6% .6 of you clicking this box was shopping. Because who doesn't love shopping? Going out and spending money that you earn, your hard earned money, on something that you've been wanting for a really long time, there's no better feeling than walking out of the store with it in the bag and the receipt in your hand. Yes, some people are money savers, but every once in a while, it feels good to buy something for yourself. Not sure where my other slide went, but hate that this happened to me again. We're just going to roll with it. Throughout my persuasive speech, I told you the negative effects of social media and ways to cut back on your use and other things you could be doing. I should listen to my own speech and my own advice after all the research I've done and cut back on my social media use because my screen time is nothing pretty. But I think you should too. So take what I have taught you, told you here today, and cut back on your own social media. Cut back on your own social media use and go reconnect with nature. Thank you.